hey welcome back to my channel so this week i'm going to take you through what it looks like to plan my week um i'm just almost into finals i have one more week uh in my prereq classes and then we're going to get into finals so what that kind of looks like it's also the week of thanksgiving so i am always in charge of mashed potatoes so you'll see some um, prep for our family gathering as well so I got a lot of great feedback from my first video about why I've left teaching and I really appreciate that. Thank you for validating me. One of my friends commented on the video and said, you know, who cares what age you are? Um, and she's absolutely right. Who cares what age you are? When you find that thing that you want to do, do it. And I think we need to get rid of these timelines that we set for ourselves. It adds this unnecessary pressure. I always thought I was going to be married by like 23, 25, but you know, COVID has shifted some of that timeline, but I'm perfectly content at where I am in my relationship and I'm confident with that. And you know, she's absolutely right. It's time that we get rid of those unnecessary timelines and do what's right when it's right for us. It's so hard, I think, on social media to look at other people and compare and say, oh, they're doing that or they're doing that. And why am I not doing those things? And that's really challenging. Everybody can post what they want on social media when they want. So think about how many selfies you took just to get that one great picture. And don't get me wrong, that picture is great, but that's how life is too, right? It's something that I need to reflect on as well. So that's an intention for me to continue to work on going forward, to stop comparing myself and do what's right for me when it's right for me. I am done with school. It was a very bittersweet experience. I got tons of support and love from my students and their parents. Shout out to one of my students who designed this at her aunt's Etsy shop. I'm going to link it down below. Um, it says nurse life and then the sleeve says kind, loving, patient, caring, and helpful. Not helpful, hopeful. <laughs> and I absolutely love this sweatshirt. It is so comfy. It's nice and big and snuggly. And that's how I like my sweatshirts to be. If you're interested in seeing some of the other really cute nursing things that they got me, I'm stunned by their generosity, especially after only having them for two months. They didn't know me that well. They really hit the nail on the head. Got a lot of chocolate, got a lot of coffee. They know me. In the meantime, nursing school doesn't start for a month and a half or so. In the meantime, what I'm doing is I am nannying for my friend. She has one son who I'm taking care of and an adorable dog. And that has been an absolute blessing. It has been a nice, calm environment for me to still get out of the house and get some work done, do my studying. But I'm also helping out a friend in a situation that she needs. So I'm just finishing up those prerequisites of microbiology and human developmental psychology. And then I've decided I'm going to pick up my very last prerequisite in the winter session. It's about a two week long course uh, and that's nutrition. I will have all of my prerequisites done before nursing school starts. I lied. There's like a one day overlap, but it'll be fine. So that way when I'm in nursing school, I only have to focus on my nursing classes. I don't want to have any other distractions while taking those classes because those are most important. I don't want to have to be reading psychology. I don't want to have to be studying microbiology. I want to just focus on my nursing classes because I know how dense and intense they're going to be. Um, I do plan on still nannying part-time. I don't think full-time is going to work out just because of the way my schedule works. And once nursing school starts, I can get more into what my schedule is going to look like. So I'm going to continue to nanny part-time while in school. That's the plan. So for the rest of today, what's on tap for today? I have been invited by some previous students to go to one of their basketball games. It's actually up closer to my home where I live. So that's going to be super fun. I'm excited to watch them play. And then I'll head home and do some cleanup, play with the dogs, and finish some discussion boards 
all of my classes are online so it's a lot of discussion boards so this is what my planner looks like i use just a standard um, appointment book this is always what has worked best for me so assignments it looks like I have a lot of free time but I know myself it'll get filled and more things will get added so planning ahead for the week really helps me to kind of keep on track know what I need to get done and you know it lets me find free time a lot easier you know where can I do things for myself for example I have a nail appointment and my lashes on Wednesday. The pens that I'm using, these are the Papermate Flare pens. These are a teacher staple and a hot commodity. Teachers love flare pens and they're they're awesome. They come in all sorts of different colors. These are just basic ones. I have a whole cup of other flare pens, which I just, I love. And they really don't bleed through too badly um, in here, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so flare pens, this is the week so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and add to it as we go. But there's my calendar. to the game, I'm literally the only person here. Good morning, everybody. It is the day before Thanksgiving. I have so much to do today. I still have to make 15 pounds of mashed potatoes. I am nannying a full day today. Um, it is a manicure day. These have become no longer practical, so um, it's time to get them cut down a little bit. I'm having a hard time typing and of all things that drives me insane. I can't stand typing slow and it just puts my hands in an awkward, um, anyways, let me try that part again. Uh, so plans today after nannying, we are going to get our nails done. My fiance actually picked the color scheme for this week, which is kind of exciting. And then we have 15 pounds of mashed potatoes to make and I'm getting a lash refill. These have been on, so my lashes, back it up. My freckle game today is like real strong. Um, these lashes have been on for probably three weeks. My lashes are super, super straight. So no matter how much mascara I put on, and how well I curl my lashes, they just don't cooperate. So lash extensions have kind of been that um, fix for me so that I feel like I have lashes and then I don't feel the need to constantly put makeup on. Um, oh my God, my freckles are just, it's a lot. So I love my freckles, don't get me wrong, that is for sure. So we have those two things to do today. Um, I have to go pick up um, my influenza vaccine record from the drugstore uh, so I can upload that for nursing. And I also, I don't have to, but I want to finish my microbiology today so that I can not have to do any work tomorrow. I just don't want to have to worry about it. And then Friday, I am puppy sitting um, for a couple down the street for me. So that will be 
another night I'm just away from the home. So I just have a lot to do to catch up on. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys later. <laughs> fully on a raw diet but I do want to add some more natural things to their kibble because I feel like they're not getting a full hey Mo quiet please I feel like they're just not getting a full balanced meal from their kibble so what I did was I had a big bag of kale and I just blended it up it looks pretty gross but um, I just kind of smushed it down to get a measurement so I know about where I'm starting. And it's about mm, a little over two cups. I could smush it a little better. But I wanted to add some spices in as well because some spices have some good properties for them. So the first one is dried basil. And because I'm using dried spices, I went on the lighter side. They're new to this, so I really wanted to be careful about not overdoing it the first tries that we're doing this. I want to introduce things slowly. So I have one teaspoon of dried basil, two teaspoons of dried parsley, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And those are all supposed to have some really good properties in them. Um, the reason that we blended this is because in the wild, your dogs would not be eating kale out the ground. They would probably be getting it from another source. It imitates more of like what they would be getting in stomach contents. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these spices here and I'm just gonna add them in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give them a stir. So now I'm just gonna scoop this mixture of our kale, parsley, basil, and cinnamon into a zip top bag and I'm going to show you how I'm going to store this. So now we're going to roll out the kale and spice mixture into one thin sheet in the zip top bag. We'll freeze it like that so when we take it out, we can cut it up into small pieces to put into the dog's food. go the dogs are about to get walked um we have made 15 pounds of potatoes and then we'll nestle the dogs in and head out on the road i get to see a bunch of family members that i haven't seen in a long time and it's gonna be a great day so we'll see you all later Sunday night is plant time and most of the gals live in a gated community because I have one pup who will definitely go in there and spend quality time that is a little bit one-sided. Oh, hello. It's this one. So they have to live in this gated community. But I use the app Planta and that helps me keep a schedule for watering, misting. Some of the leaves needs to be cleaned like this one up here, my peace lily. Every now and again, I have to wipe down its leaves. I also have one air plant that I forgot to mist and I need to mist. It's one that you don't soak. It's solely a mistable one. As I'm winding down to go to bed, of course, my dogs are ramping up to play 
we get our midnight zoomies and it drives me bananas. So we didn't get to putting up our tree this week, but we will this upcoming week. It's a pretty full week. So we'll do some planning together and we'll be doing a lot of studying as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So yeah, there's that. Um, human development. Human development. Human develop, develop. Oh my God. Ooh, that's a pretty Excuse me. Thank you so much for watching. Excuse me.